guys so welcome back again to my channel and we're just here chilling at the house so today it's just gonna be like a vlog like just I don't know a vlog at the farm we are just gonna do farm work today ah oh, man give me back my shoe Akila give me back my shoe Oh, you are so bad. Ate! Remember these things aren't. I know. I am. What are you doing? What are you doing? Some yard work. So since it's winter, we're gonna be pulling off all of these. Tatanggalin namin yan lahat. Tapos... Fill it up again with soil. Ate, fill it up. Ew. Ew. Ayaw? Ayaw? Ayaw na? Ni, No kaya yun? La? Ayaw? 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 Eh. Diyan lang ikaw. Say hi, butterfly. Hi. Hi, butterfly. Kakapanggigil. <laughs> Sabi. So as you can see, ayan ang trabaho natin today. Magbaba na tayo ng buto, Char. Siya lang pala. So, if flex ko lang uh, ang aming kalamansi. How old are these kalamansis pa? Okay, so these kalamansis are four years old and really proud because of how it came out. And it's like a big tree now. I don't know if you can see that, but that's so cute. I'm gonna show you how much fruit it bears. This one we already stripped this off. Pinagkukuha na namin yung bunga niyan. And we planned on putting these bricks around them para hindi ganun katumubo yung damong masamang damo. Damong masama. Ang tawag dun? <laughs> Basta yung weed. Oh, yun. And then we've got a small calamansi here. And this big one. See? Nakikita mo yung bunga mga bes. Ang dami. And look, there's some on the ground. We're gonna have to strip the whole thing off with fruits just because it's winter. Alam mo naman, ito ay galing ng Pilipinas. So, wala naman tayong winter sa Pilipinas. Aircon lang ang winter natin. <laughs> <laughs> so, kailangan natin silang i-prepare sa winter. And they need to be really, really strong and everything. So, kailangan tanggalin yung mga fruits para yung tree ay mas strong and mas focus on protecting itself instead of like, you know, giving nutrients to the fruits. Does that even make sense? Kind of like that. Other trees here. Kalamansi, kalamansi, kalamansi. Magbibenta na ako ng kalamansi sa may kanto. O, di ba? Marami yan, Beth. Uh, this is our sugar cane. Ayan ko po. I'll show you our sile. There's this dude right here that's not in the mood. What's wrong, ate? Hmm? What's wrong? Ayaw. Siya nilalagay mga best tuwing nakikipaglaro kay Olivia or I need to do other things. Wait lang. Turn yun na. It's a really beautiful day actually at the farm. Basically, this is like one of the farms. We have another farm on like a couple blocks away from here. It's a citrus farm as well. 
Um, on this lot, we have a lot of calamansi. I believe most of the calamansi trees that we have are in here. And the ones that I showed you a while ago, somewhere there, are the biggest and oldest calamansi trees we have. And the most abundant when it comes to fruit production and these vines that you see on the fence those are passion fruit and let me show you our sile this right here is like a project that my husband wants to achieve it's kind of like a raised garden it goes all the way there i go show them the chickens oh, okay okay where are the chickens Oh, oh no! You see, this is one of our sealers. This is like the smallest sealer that we have. We have a huge one somewhere there. I'm gonna show you later on. Sealing labuyu yan mga bes. Madali lang siyang patubuin. Try nyo. This is Olivia's chicken coop. Ta-da! We got ducks, two ducks, and everything else are chicken. Yeah. These white chickens love Olivia. They always remember her as someone that gives them food. May saging jan. Yung mga prutas sa farm namin binibigay namin sa mga manok para sila yung kumain. Ika na dali. I know you're tired. Alika na dali. Tired. Show you guys our lemon tree. This one's turning yellow. So exciting. Yeah. Hala, my aunt's John. Alika na dali. <laughs> Patabing ito makbo. <laughs> Scoop, baby, cry. Baby, you okay? Baby, you okay? Baby. Baby. Ate? I'm okay, baby. Okay. okay I'm okay, Ate. This is the front part of the house, and we've got some more citrus there that I have no idea what it is. These are like our biggest citrus, cause look how big they are, like. It's almost like a size of queso de bola. We've got some dead pomegranate. <laughs> Nakapagproduce yan dalawang pomegranate. Wag kayo. Ang sarap ng pomegranate na naproduce niyan. Um, maasim siya na matamis. Ayoko nung nasa store. Yung nasa store, I find it too creamy. Yung juice niya masyadong creamy. Nakakasuka. Pero yan, yung naproduce ng tree na yan na patay na. Dalawa yung na produce yun, and it was really, really good. It had like a really, really nice tangy and sweet flavor. Pomegranate, fig, pomegranate, fig, pomegranate, pomegranate, fig, pomegranate, fig, pomegranate, fig. Kind of like that. That's the side of the house. Um, alternate pomegranate and fig. My husband loves figs. I'm gonna show you guys. Meron coming. I actually don't know what this is, but it looks like a Filipino tree. But I know this one is manga. I don't know if it's, this is Indian mango or Carabao mango. Pero nakabili yung asawa ko ng real Filipino mango tree somewhere online. This is mango again, as you can see. Look at that. Hindi ko lang alam kung Indian or um, Carabao mango yan. These are avocado trees. 
There's another Filipino mango tree. I know my santol kami. I just don't know which one is the santol. This is bay leaves. Ta-da! Pandan. I use fresh pandan when I make book pandan. And this one. <gasps> is that siniguela? OMG! Meron kami siniguelas! I am so happy. There's a siniguelas fruit. I love siniguelas. Kasi bumili yung asawa ko ng dalawang, I know, dalawang siniguelas. Malaki na yung puno na yun. I think it's in the garage. Kailangan namin i-move to towing winter. And it had like a freezing moment. Two weeks ago, that's why he had to put everything in the garage to protect it from freezing and dying. Nasa pot lang siya. I didn't know he bought another one. I believe this is another one. Because it looks like it. And this looks like a siniguelas. Pa? Is this a siniguelas? Yeah. There's a siniguelas fruit. It is siniguelas. Oh my gosh. Maingit ka. Best din maingit ka. Maingit ka. So yeah, the things my husband do for me. He bought a lot of Filipino fruits and a lot of Filipino seeds online. He even bought kalabasa. And we were able to harvest a ton of kalabasa. And it was like a month where we ate nothing but kalabasa in Sitao. It was so delicious. What is this? Avocado. Oh yeah, this da 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 da. This one. This is avocado too. We have dozens of variety of avocado. Oh, where's your santol? Oh, there's the siniguelas. I was looking for the siniguelas. Here's another siniguelas. This is the big one. It doesn't have a fruit yet. Yeah. Hopefully we can maintain everything. This is bayabas, as you can see. Yeah, that's kind of what it is around here. I love being here, other than the fact that we live here. I hate living here because <laughs> literally there's nothing here other than trees. Right, Simba? Although Simba loves it here, I think. See, I'm going to show you the ceiling pang sigang. Ta-da! These, I'm just letting these ripe, like ripe, 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 so that we can harvest the seeds and prepare it for next summer. May rap tong patubuin kapag malamig kasi ang sile kailangan mainit ang panahon and it's winter na so we have to put them in pots and secure them. If this dies, it's okay. At least we can harvest some of the seeds. But before that, we, they have to be overripe. Kasi kapag masyado pang bata yung sili, tapos kinuha mo na yung seeds niya, hindi siya tutubo. The older, the better. Baby sleeping, ate. Cat! Oh no, that is a cat. Leave baby alone. Sumoto bag. Hey guys, so they're both asleep and we are going to cook. And yeah, today we're gonna make some eggplant rollatini, rotalini, kind of like that. Basically, I'm gonna like cook the eggplant. Um, again, take two. So basically, what we're gonna do is, oh my gosh, gagawa tayo ng cheese filling for this. Our baby Bella mushrooms. We're gonna rinse it. Just chop them the way you want them to be chopped. Ginto lagi yung ginagawa ko tuwing tulog na sila. This is the time that I cook and do household chores. They really have almost the same schedule and the same routine. They're very good with sleeping times. O yun di ba palipat lipat tayo ng puesto. So right now, nagihiwa na ako ng Brussels sprouts. I actually really, really love Brussels sprouts, especially pag igigisa mo lang siya sa shallots. Um, it's really, really good. Like, it's got the sweetness if you know how to cook them right. But they can be really, really disgusting kapag mali yung pagkakaluto. But anyway, I'm about to run out of battery. 
so i won't be able like to show you guys what i'm doing in the kitchen and be able to chat because you know i talk a lot but anyways um that's kind of it for today's video hope you guys enjoy this i know this is like so boring and i'm just like showing you guys snippets of my day and my hair <laughs> this is like my favorite kid hairstyle random i don't know whatever but anyway <laughs> thank you guys again so much for watching i hope you enjoy again this video and if you want more vlogs please subscribe if you don't follow me on all my social media accounts everything is lee and Gerald, my snapchat my facebook my instagram and my twitter dear that i never use <laughs> thank you guys again so much for watching i love you and i'll see you next time <laughs>